Today on Bumpy Road Brews from Great North Ale Works out of Manchester, New Hampshire, I have their Black Bear. This is an Imperial Stout. It's 2023 release. Comes in at 10% ABV. Uh, packaged on date was November 7th. So we're pretty much a month into this. Um, at the time of this video, uh, Black Bear's trudging through the head of that beer on this one and uh, drinking a beer and playing with the phone um, on the other side. So I believe this is my first time having uh, an Imperial Stout from uh, Great North. Uh, typically, you know, they have uh, some IPAs and uh, a nice uh, vanilla robust porter. Uh, so believe this is my first time having it. Um, I could be mistaken. I may have done it years and years ago. I just don't remember. Blacked out. All right, let's open this up. Oh, I did just take this out of my fridge, so it is it is pretty cold. So uh, not the ideal temperature for drinking uh, an Imperial Stout, but we'll get there. I'm sure it'll warm up a little bit. Uh, the head on this, though, is a pretty large, tight-knit, uh, kind of mocha chocolatey head uh, some deep ruby red coming through the bottom of this beer but it's uh, yeah it's pretty black uh, so it is a black bear a beer or a bear <laughs> um, yes let's get some aromas from afar all right, so we're getting a little bit of like some fruit notes right up, right up front. Faint smell of like what kind of, it's kind of like a slight chocolatey coffee. All right, let's get in closer. All right, yeah, so it's this kind of mm, chocolate note, a little bit roasty. Do pick up some kind of grain quality out of the aroma too. There is kind of a dark fruit note. A little bit like prune or plum. I'd say more pruney. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the uh, aromas. Let's dive in for the first swig here. So, cheers. I don't know, body's about medium on this one. Um, does have a moderate carbonation to it. It's uh, it's got a big old char note going. Big roasty, um, like roasted malt kind of char flavor um, just rings right through this thing all the way to the finish bitterness I'd say is uh, it's up there um, moderate and beyond uh, there's a slight kind of uh, chocolate note that I also get it's kind of like a powdery dark chocolate um, Lots of roast. I am picking up on that grain flavor on the back end, kind of like I was able to smell it. Uh, that is there. Uh, kind of a woodsy, maybe piney um, type bitterness. There's also a, a lot of that kind of, it's like astringent, drying on the palate. That like burnt husky. Not like Husky the dog, but like burnt husk, uh, like from like grain or something. Um, just flavor. The burnt, uh, kind of ashy flavor that adds to the bitterness as well. Yeah, it's a big old, big old bitterness to this. But I mean, I don't know, it kind of works with a beer, so. Ten percent uh, alcohol. Is it present in the flavor? I don't know. There's a lot of just kind of that uh, char going on, so it's kind of hard. 
I, I don't think I'm picking up any alcoholic flavors. Uh, as far as a warming, yeah, maybe a touch. Uh, starting to get heftier, actually. This might be a medium full body. Uh, it's a pretty robust uh, Imperial Stout. I would say that. I'd say it's, it's kind of... Uh, more of a classic style stout as well. There's no adjuncts added to this to give it any other enhanced flavors. These oh. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a sipper uh, of a, an imperial stout and uh, I'd just say I don't know, I'd I'd say this one's very good. Uh, if you're if you're a stout lover, if you kind of like the old school type stuff, maybe you're more like a Rasputin, um, Russian Imperial Stout enthusiast. Uh, this this might be one you gravitate towards. Um, yeah, not not too shabby for it's a standard Imperial Stout. Uh, just be be ready for some ashen uh, ashy type flavors. Uh, the char, uh, a larger bitterness, a little bit of backwardness. Uh, that's all. So I just want to say cheers. 